Well, I'm our facts, Mars. There's been another mass shooting, in this time in Texas, and it has false flag written all over it. At least 27 people died in a Texas church, and multiple people were injured, including a two-year-old child after a gunman in full combat dress opens fire during the service. Uh, that's, that has false flag written all over it. At least 27 people were shot dead by the unidentified gunman, and at least 24 others are being treated for injuries. Police said the gunman walked in the First Baptist Church of Southern Lone Springs in Texas and opened fire. One witness told authorities that among those who were shot in the attack was a two-year-old. The church pastor... Frank Pomeroy says beautiful daughter Annabelle, 14, was killed in the shooting. Another witness said the man, who isn't from Southern One Springs community, was dressed in full gear. The University Health System has said their trauma, trauma scene is caring for nine patients, four children and five adults. Please confirm the government is dead, but it's unclear if police took him down or if he took his own life. Kind of like, uh, Las Vegas. More than 20 people have been killed inside a Texas church, including a two-year-old after gunman dressed in full combat gear open fire during the morning service before cops shot him dead. The shooting happened at First Baptist Church of Southern Springs, where about 50 people usually attend the service, according to local experts. Wilson County Commissioner Albert Gomez told the Clinton News Network that at least 27 have been killed in the shooting, but death toll is expected to climb. My... That's Gamus, not Gomez. All right. My heart is broken, Gamus said. Never think where it can happen when it does. It doesn't matter where you're at. In a small community, real quiet and everything. Look at this, what can happen. Uh, folks, this is no random shooting. I'm sorry, this is not something that's random. Neither was Las Vegas. This, uh, resembles Operation Northwoods. Uh, that was a proposed terror attack scenario by the government. I'll bring that up. Operation Northwoods was a proposed false flag operation against the Cuban government that originated within the U.S. Department of Defense, DOD, and Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States government in 1962. The proposals called for the CIA or other government operatives to commit acts of terrorism against American civilians and military targets, blaming it on the Cuban government and using it to justify a war against Cuba. The plans detailed in the document included possible assassination of Cuban emigrants, sinking boats of Cuban refugees in the high seas, hijacking planes, sounds familiar, blowing up a U.S. ship, and orchestrating violent terrorism in U.S. cities. The proposals were rejected by the Kennedy administration, and then he got assassinated. <coughs> <coughs> At the time of the proposal, communists led by Fidel Castro had recently taken power in Cuba. The operation proposed conveying public support for war against Cuba by blaming it for terrorist acts that would actually be perpetrated by the U.S. government. This is known history, folks. This is... Excuse me. This is not a conspiracy theory, Operation Northwoods. This is history. They never put it into uh, action, at least not. They haven't admitted to it. Unbelievable. More updates as time goes on. Don't know much about the situation, but it has false flag written all over it.